Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching Sejia video. Today we will make, we will actually convert this character into this freezing character with material and Niagara particles. And you will learn each and everything how to make this ice material, how to put the particles on it, how to align the meshes with the normals of the character, how to add these falling particles, each and everything you will learn. And by the end of this video, you can make this by your own, if even if you are uh, like a beginner. So let's dive in. So let's start this. So first I need a character. So let's make a material actually. M freeze. Let me just put it here and I have actually. So basically I have this character and I want to transform one character into the ice effect, uh, ice freezing effect. So basically I need to change the material first. So I'll make this material. So if I preview this character here. First you need a texture. You can use any kind of uh, ice texture you have. Let me just search ice in my textures. I have already. So I'll just drag with the normal map. I have this. So if I connect it here in the emissive, you can see how it looks. It looks fine. I'm not changing anything. You can use normal map if you want, but uh, I think I will let's use it actually. And one more thing you can do, you can uh, use the same texture and take the bump. And just connect this texture here or maybe just blue channel or the channel whatever you want to and you have to check and which channel you want connect here give some height so it will have some some depth if you i'll show you see it has now some depth and that looks actually good so if i increase it like 0.2 it will be i think too much but you will now see the difference although we can use 0.2 now okay so let's uh, drag it here this material and save cool so i have just done very basic of material let it save while saving you can just subscribe if you like this so so this is how it looks then we can add uh, one more thing we can do we can make uh Edges only whitish, and from the center we can make little more bluish by using fresnel. And I'll make this black, and then take the fresnel. And if I preview the fresnel on the character, this is how it looks. I'll make it two, and maybe I'll use a power. So little more contrast. Now this is how it looks. Then I'll use a lerp, and I'll just connect this here. And on the white on this i will use this texture and i will multiply the same texture with more bluish color multiply and then this will go here and now i will use here so you will see how it looks and this is too blue too much blue actually So I guess let me you can make parameters uh, and then check how you want it. So now it has I want to make this one a little more bright. So let's make it five maybe. So edges will be a little more bright. See? Looks better. Okay. Now we will add some uh, icicles on the body. So for that, uh, I'll go to Niagara and let's take a Niagara and I'll take this empty one and ice icicles and I'll just take this minimal emitter and here I will use self once and I will spawn bus, let's say 50 particles for now. And I want to spawn it on skeletal, not skeletal, static mesh location. I need this mesh, so I will just 
browse this and we can use it here fix so now you can see part is spawning on the character you can use from here triangle or text socket whatever you want to use so now if i drag this and let's make this child of this make this zero so it will be on the character okay now let's uh, let's use a mesh instead of this and i think I, you can see the default mesh i have i think icicle mesh let me just search i have these i have actually multiple but i don't think the pivot let me just check yeah it looks fine it has already a material so if you don't know how to make this kind of material i have separate tutorial if you just search eyes in my tutorials you will find i think let me just show you go to my channel here just type eyes and there are tutorials like this one like this one this one this one i have lost of okay i'll show you material and don't worry this is the material what i'm doing i have the same texture same bump i am using and just it just is white from the bottom so for that i'm using a gradient here so this gradient is for the green gen so it's for height that's it so it's not very complicated thing so i'll just browse this and in the niagara i will just put this here so these are now not, not uh, facing the normal and let's make this like 200 for now just to visualize it should face the normals of this so for that we close up i accidentally close the niagara to face the normal i'll take the rotation here mesh initial mesh rotation instead of this random make it none uh not none vector and connect here shape normal so this is the static mesh location so static mesh location normal now it's facing normal but we need to rotate it 90 degrees so we can do that here 0.25 actually minus 0.25 now these all facing normals and i think i need the same material i need same material for these and these should not never die so in the particle update turn this off so these will never die okay i want the same bluish material so i will just use it so to override it turn this material override and i will put the material here so basically i'm using the same material that i created in front of you so you don't have to worry about it you can now randomize things like this is the rotation for aligning but it has this rotation and this rotation which you can randomize a little bit and also the size you can go like 0.2 and 1 let me just increase it for now just to show you how it looks so this is how it looks you can add little like a mist or something so it looks like it's eyes what i'll do i'll just duplicate this instead of burst i'll take the spawn rate and instead of ones it should be infinite and they should be live and they should be sprite I'll just use this mock material which uh, I'll take from the starter content so you can also have that uh, material this one this one smock this is 8 by 8 sub UV so I'll just put it here in here I'll put 8 by 8 then I'll take animation and choose the sub render here now spawn rate let's make 20 and play and i will add uh, gravity it should fall but not that fast maybe that much 
and I'll actually use uniform size maybe 50 and 40 and you can also randomize rotation or if you want velocity line you can do that let's also take uh, scale color I will also fade and fade out these and let's also randomize the life maybe 2 and 1 or 3 I'll also make this little bluish and I think this is too big and yeah like that uh, still velocity uh, sorry the gravity is too high and we can increase the life like this cool you can also do one thing duplicate this one more time delete the sprite render take it again with the radial delete the sub uv now you have these particles so you can make them really bright maybe 20 little blue size maybe 2 and 1 and i will add little curl noise 50 or 200 and red i will animate this also maybe 100 just for now and finally gravity not that much still too big so 1.1 kernel is too high maybe 50 and life maybe just 2 and 1 so you can do that so now you have two character one is normal one has these icicle and lots of things so i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye